in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And Lord, we thank you and we praise you and we glorify your name. And we ask you, Lord, to continue to touch us in a mighty way. Use us today. Fill us with your life and love. Let your Holy Spirit guide us and unite us. And we ask you, Jesus, to cover us with your most precious blood. And let your archangels and angels in heaven, the legions of angels, to protect us. And Lord, we ask that, uh, Lord Jesus, that it is um, my will to surrender. It is our will to surrender to you everything that we are and everything that we are striving to be. We open the deepest recesses of our hearts to you and invite you and invite your Holy Spirit to dwell inside of us. We offer you our lives, hearts, minds, bodies, soul, and spirit, and all our hopes, plans, and dreams. We surrender to you our past, present, and future problems, habits, character defects, attitudes, livelihood, resources, finances, medical coverages, occupation, and all our relationships. We give, we give you our health, disabilities, physical appearance, homes, families, marriages, children, sexuality, and friendships. We ask you, Lord, to take lordship over every aspect of our lives. We surrender to you all our hurts and pains and worry, anxiety and fear. And we ask you to wash us clean with your precious blood and unite us, O Lord, and cover with your precious blood all our, our equipment, our, our laptops, our computers, our iPads, all our um, electrical devices, all our electrical outlets, cover them with your precious blood. And Lord, that let there be no interruptions and that we all hear everything, the receptions will be great, will be unhindered in your name, O oh Lord. And Lord, we surrender to you. Also our, our um, we release, Lord, we surrender to you everything into your compassionate care. Please speak to us clearly. Lord, guide us. Show us the way because you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, open our ears to hear your voice so that we can speak your voice also loud and clear to our sisters and brothers who are in this Zoom prayer meeting. Open our hearts to commune with you more deeply. We desperately need to feel your loving embrace. Shut the doors that need to be shut and open the doors that need to be opened so that we will be effective servants in your name. Set our feet upon the straight and narrow road that leads us to everlasting life and to victory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for sending your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to the world to save and to set us free. We trust in your power and grace that sustains and restores us. Loving Father, touch us now with your healing hands, for we believe that your will is for us to be well in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Cover us with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Cast out anything that should not be in us, Open any unhealthy and abnormal cells. Open any 
blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection by the power of Jesus' precious blood. Let the fire of your healing love pass through our entire bodies to heal and to make new any diseased areas so that our bodies will function the way you created it to function. Touch also our minds and our emotions, even the deepest recesses of our hearts. Heal the hurts and pains and all the wounds that we have in our lives. Saturate our entire being with your presence, love, joy, and peace, and draw us ever closer to you every moment of our lives. And Father, fill us with your Holy Spirit and empower us to do your works so that our lives will bring glory and honor to your holy name. We ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jim. Father, by the blood of Jesus, deliver us and our family members and all our relatives and friends from the dreaded COVID-19 and from all pestilences and pandemics of all kinds, shapes, or forms in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Blood of Jesus, save us and our, all our relatives and friends from serious illnesses and accidents, disasters, natural and man-made, and from the terror of demons and all attacks of the evil one, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, by the blood of Jesus, let every physical and spiritual burden on our shoulders be lifted now in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we send the spirit and the blood of Jesus into every spiritual realm of wickedness where our lives are being discussed and manipulated let the blood scatter them in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over our homes. Let it put a bloodline protection around about our homes in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, just as the blood of the Passover shielded the Israelites from destruction in Egypt, let the blood of Jesus Christ shield us and my loved ones and all our friends from all forms of destruction. Amen. Father, let the spirit and the blood of Jesus arise now and fight the battle for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let the blood of Jesus destroy every power assigned to follow us in order to hinder our progress in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, where blood has been shed in order to bring a negative covenant into effect in our lives, and with our families, and with our friends. Let the blood of Jesus neutralize it and break it now in Jesus' name. Amen. Blood of Jesus, deliver us by, by fire in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We command all blessings confiscated by rulers of darkness to be released and be poured out upon us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We cut ourselves off from every territorial spirit and from the spirits in the atmosphere, in the air, in the water, and in the fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We command all dynamic entities installed to hinder our progress to be roasted and to reverse gears in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is yours. Lord Jesus, bear all, bear all our physical and spiritual burdens now in the name of Jesus. Every power stealing our virtues die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every power in the heavenlies, on earth, and in the seas, hindering the angels of our blessings, die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Any power diverting the blessing of God away from us, your time is up. Die now in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, every owner of evil load, carry your load in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blood of Jesus, pursuer evil and demonic pursuers in the name of Jesus. 
blood of Jesus, arise and fight our battles in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, pursue poverty out of our lives in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to follow us, to destroy us, die in the name of Jesus. Every power that aims to inflict harm and destruction to our family members in all our relations and friends die in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. Every entity and every power that molests and causes division and recriminations and illnesses and afflictions with us and our family members die in Jesus' name and by the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of the Father and, the, and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we claim victory and healing, wholeness and peace and miracles unto our lives and unto all our friends and relations. Amen. Okay, let us begin as we are in the presence of the Lord. Let's take a moment and search our conscience because we're two or three are gathered, Jesus is in our midst, he tells us this. So let us ask for forgiveness of sins and Lord Jesus have mercy on us all as we offer our petitions spoken and in unspoken in the silence of our hearts, especially for our families and children and their children. We ask the Lord to cover each and every one with his precious blood and place a hedge of protection around each and every one, especially those who are not able to be with us, especially the sick and those who come for healing today. Let us pray for the end of the COVID pandemic and all negative and violent effects in the violence and mass murderers in our world and in, the, in our streets, and especially in our families for a peaceful end of the war in Ukraine. And let us thank God for the little rain we have got, but yet we still ask him to help us with the climate control. Let us pray for all those who are in darkness and who do not know or love our Lord, especially those in our families. We ask the Lord to have mercy on all and repair our global warming. And we ask for peace and let it begin with each and every one of us as we begin our prayers. We pray to the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful that in the same spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Thou, Lord, wilt open my lips and my tongue shall announce thy praise. Incline into my aid, O God. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. And on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence, he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body in life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
three Hail Marys for the increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you, say souls. O oh, Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. And for all those who are going to be leading us in the decades, please unmute yourself and everyone else, please remain muted. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation to Mary. The angel Gabriel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Fruit of the mystery, humility. And Joe, oh wait. Sherry and Joe will lead us in this decade. Our Sherry? Father, yep. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those who need most of thy divine mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you, save souls. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Come, Holy Spirit, come, by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us. Joseph, uh, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Fruit of the mystery, love of neighbor. And Melly and Emma will lead us in this decade. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without them. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Lord, we save souls. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us of recourse to thee. 
come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. Our Lady Queen of Peace, pray for us and before us to be Saint Joseph, pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The birth of Jesus. The time came for Mary to have a child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped Jesus in swaddling clothes and laid Jesus in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Fruit of the mystery, poverty, and spirit. And Ada and Trisha will lead us in this decade. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, we love you, save souls. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Come, Holy Spirit, come by means of the most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. Our Lady, Queen of Peace. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Maria. 
the fourth joy, the fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the infant Jesus in the temple. Simeon took the child in his arms and said, now, master, you may let your servant go of peace according to your word, for your eyes have seen your salvation, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people. Fruit of the mystery, obedience. And Jim and Nora will lead us in this decade. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Yeah. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and our our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead, lead all souls, souls to heaven, heaven especially those most in need of thy mercy. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We love you, sweet soul. O oh Mary, conceived without sin. Pray for us, my recourse to thee. Come, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, by Come means, by means of the most, most powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your most beloved spouse. Mary, Queen of Peace, St. Joseph, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. The fifth joyful Mary met mystery. Joseph and Mary find Jesus in the temple. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And Jesus said to them, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? Fruit of the mystery, joy in finding Jesus. And this decade will be led by our, give, our prayer group leaders in their given language. And the Padre Nostre, the Our Father, will be led by Emma. Pater Noster, who is in Celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, 
fiat voluntas tua, sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum, quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimiti nobis de vita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostres, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Bahasa Malaysian, Emma. Salam Maria, Panorakma, Tuhan bersatamu, terpujilah engkau, di antara wanita dan terpujilah tubuhmu, Yesus. Santa Maria, Bunda Allah, doakanlah kami yang berdosa ini sekarang dan waktu kami mati. Amin. Cantonese, Chinese, Ada. Man Fuk Ma Lea, Ni Chung Mun Sing Chung, Ju Yin Ni Tong Joy, Ni Joy Fu Lui Chung Sao Jan Chung, Ni Di Chen Ji Ye So, Tong Sao Jan Chung, Tin Ju Sing Mo Ma Lea, Kau Ni Yin Joy, Wong O Mun Lam Chung Si, Wai O Mun Joy Yan, Ki Kau Tin Ju, Amen. Cebuano, Filipino, Meli. Magkimaya ka Maria na puno ka sa grasya. Pinong Diyos ka na akani mo. Pulahan ka sa babaeng kanan. Pulahan sa ang bunga nga sa tiyan mo nga si Jesus. Santa Maria inahan sa Diyos. Iampo mo kaming makasasala. Karun at soro sa among ikamatay. Amen. French, Linda. Je vous salue, Marie. Plain de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes béni entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous, pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. German, Bell. Hello, Dale. Dale? Yeah. You're muted. Yeah. Que grüße seis der Maria, voll der Nade, der Herr is mit dir, du bist gebene deit unter der Frauen, und gebene deit is der Frau, deines Leibes, Jesus. Heilige Maria, Mutter Gottes, bitte für uns Sünde, jetzt, on in their stunde, on their studies. Amen. Elecano, Filipino, Del. Ave Maria, anapnuka ti gracia, ni apu jus ti abda kenka, sika iti nang runa, a bendita amin, kadigiti babae, ket bendita ti bunga ti chan mo, an Jesus. Santa Maria nga ina ti Diyos, ikakaasya na kam ang managbasol. Itakyan inton oras ti papatay mi. Amen. Hungarian, Maria. Üdvözlégy Maria, kegyelem már teljes. Az Úrban te veled, áldott vagy te az asszonyok között, és áldott a te méhednek gyümölcse Jézus. Asszonyunk Szűz Mária, Istennek szent anyja, Imádkozzá érettünk bűnösökért, most, most találunk óráján. Amen. Spanish, Elsa. Dios te salve, María. Llena eres de gracia. El Señor está contigo. Bendita tú eres entre todas las mujeres y bendito es el fruto de tu vientre, Jesús. Santa María, Madre de Dios, ruega por los pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Tagalo, Filipino, Sherry. Abaginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay suma sa iyo. Bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat, at pinagpala rin naman ang anak mong si Jesus. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kaming makasalanan, ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Amen. English, Nilo. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Latin Gloria Patre will be sung by Vicky. Gloria Patre et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicura dat in principio et nunc et semper in et secula seculorum. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dolce Do, et Spes Nostra Salve. A te clamamos, exulis filieve. A te suspiramos, gementes et flentes, in hat lacrimarum vale. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, y los tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converte. Et Jesum benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O oh, Clement, O oh, 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 Pia, O oh, 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 Docis, Virgo Maria. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection implored your help or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly to you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may both imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint John the Evangelist, pray for us. Saint Louise Marie de Montfort, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Peregrine, pray for us. Saint Cecilia, pray for us. Saint Lucy, pray for us. Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. All ye heavenly angels and saints, pray for us and protect us. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Okay, let us begin the divine chaplet. Let us pray for all, let us offer this up for all those who have passed away and for all those who are dying and for all the aborted babies and for all those who are contemplating abortion or contemplating suicide, especially all those in our families and those who are on the street. And we pray for all those who are in darkness, who do not know, who do not love our Lord Jesus. 
especially in our families, as we begin the divine and, chaplet. And also, because Sally, and also, Sally, excuse me, we also uh, offer this um, chaplet of the divine mercy for the peaceful end of the Ukrainian war, that both sides will have peace talks and will disarm themselves so that they, yes. will, be peace. they will be peace in, in Europe and, and many parts of the world. Yes, and we pray for peace and unity amongst one another and especially in our families. As we begin the divine chaplet, Sally, Eternal Father, I, Sally, yeah. I'm sorry, but yes. today in Stockton, Hell's Angels will be gathering for the funeral of their founder and they're um, expecting problems. <laughs> so yeah. we pray well, for we pray peace. for peace in our yes. in our, peace peace in our safety. For I, I heard Linda, I heard that they are expecting about over a thousand members of the Hell's Angels. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. So we will pray so, we will pray for can include that please. Yeah we will pray yes. that there will be no violence because uh, that could easily be the case. Yeah. So we pray that the Lord place a hedge of protection. Yes, thank you. And shield us from all harm and evil. Amen. And everyone who is involved in this in this area right now and around each and every one, as we begin the divine chaplet, eternal father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I, we trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you. And let us begin the first mystery to our lord's most precious wounds to his left foot which lily beth or sherry and joe will lead us in this decade eternal father we offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the holy wo whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let us meditate on the wounds to our Lord's most precious right foot, which will be led by Millie and Emma. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the most precious wounds to our Lord's left hand will be led by Trisha and Ada. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the wounds to our Lord's most precious right hand will be led by Jim and Nora. Eternal Father, we offer you the body, blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Sally. For the wounds to our Lord's head, thigh, and heart will be sung by Abby. Eternal Father, we offer you the body. the 
Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion, inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to our International Children of God Prayer Community Zoom prayer meeting. And I would like to ask here, how many of you are here for the first time? This is your first time to come and attend our international prayer meeting. Please, Me. uh, yeah, please, maybe you uh, turn on your yellow, yellow light. We have Eliana. Eliana, and who else? Anybody else? Oh, Chris, Chris is here, but of course he has been here before. Chris, how are you doing? Chris Kuzuma. Hi, Christina. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. And Chris. anybody Jim else uh, except uh, Eliana? Ginny said it's her second time. Yeah, yeah, Gina. Yeah, Gina from Toronto. Uh, she's a friend of uh, Chris Kosuma, right? And, Liliana uh, is also, I uh, invited Liliana. She uh, lived in Jakarta. She's from our group too in Jakarta. So she's joining us today. Thank you, oh, Liliana, for joining yeah. us. Uh, did, did, we meet, did we meet in Jakarta, Liliana? Can you unmute yourself? Have, have we met in, in Jakarta? 
I don't think so. No, okay. Yeah, I've been to Jakarta, I think, three or four times. With Santa Monica? No, no, Jakarta, Indonesia. Yeah, I mean, did you go, was, uh, did you do a talk with Santa Monica? Yeah, too? yeah, we have a, I, um, I was in the, I conducted healing crusade in Jakarta Convention Center. Oh, okay. They talked about 10,000 people there. Okay. Yeah, it's a big place. It's a huge place, huh? Indonesia, Jakarta is a huge place, yes. Yeah, I mean, the convention center. It's a huge place. Okay. Welcome, here. Welcome yes. Liliana. Welcome. And uh, thank you, Joe. Thank we you. We have Dr. Sandra. Welcome, Dr. Sandra. Welcome again. Okay. Nice to be here. Yes, and uh, I'm smiling. Yes, and oh, Agnes is here. Mr. Hi. Agnes, where's Lilibet? We gotta unmute Agnes. Oh, she's talking. Agnes, we can't hear you till you unmute. Okay, I'm talking. Yeah, Lilibet is in the third order Francisca retreat. Oh, see it. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So um I have my friend too from LA, Vilma Posadas, who wanted to meet you. Wilma? Where Vilma, is... Vil Vilma. Oh, Vilma. Vilma Posadas. Welcome, Vilma. Where are you, Vilma? Vilma. Raise your hand, Vilma, and you'll go right up to the front. <laughs> Vilma, welcome. Vilma. Unmute, Vilma, welcome. Yeah, she's muted. Un unmute, Vilma, unmute. Yeah, Vilma Posadas, where, is, where in LA is he come, uh, does he come from? Wal Walnut, Walnut. In Walnut, I see. Yeah, in Walnut. Uh, There's okay, a prayer that's... group there too, it's a prayer group. Yeah, that's Orange County. Ah, Orange County. Yes. Vilma. What a great last name, Posadas. Posadas, yeah, Vilma. Yes, she was my high school classmate. Oh, welcome, Vilma. And uh, who else uh, are here? We have uh, Jenny. Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Jenny. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes. You're you're from. Um, uh, I'm from Yonkers, New York. Yankers, yeah, New Yankers, York. yeah. Okay, welcome from uh, the, the nice, the beautiful state of New York. Thank you. And also our sister, uh, Celia Feliciano. Hi, Celia. Hi. Hi, and how are you? Where are you from, Celia? Uh, Walnut, like Vilma, she invited me. Vilma Posadas invited me. Oh, we're in the okay. Inland Empire. We're in the Inland Empire. Oh, okay. Los Angeles. Los Angeles, yes, yes. Welcome and also. Thank you. Thank you. We all love one another. We have faith, we have hope, we have joy. We have Jesus, our Savior, our Redeemer. We are one in the Spirit, we are one. We are one. We all love one another. We have faith, we have hope, we have joy. We have Jesus, our Savior, our Redeemer. We are one in the Spirit, we are one. We are the Jesus. Of God forever and ever. Amen. We are 
Unmute yourselves. We praise you, Lord. The I have a, a word from the book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verses 7 to 8. 
he holds victory in store for the upright. He's a shield to those whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I have a reading, Bob, from Psalms 3. Mm -hmm. Trust, lean on, rely on, and be confident in the Lord and do good. So shall you dwell in the land and feed surely on his faithfulness, and truly you shall be fed. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and secret petitions of your heart. <laughs> Commit your way to the Lord and repose each care of your load on him. Trust, lean on, rely, and be confident also on him, and he will bring it to pass. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We desire in your Lord. For sure. We desire in you. And then also with along with my brother and sister's uh, prophecy, the Lord is has an abundance, an instillment of the spirit of hope upon his children. You've been asking for a sign, this is your sign. You've been weary, but lean on what Philippians 1, 6 says. It says, being confident of, confident of this, he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Moses didn't stop going halfway up the hill. David didn't stop in the battle, okay? Jesus didn't stop at the cross. So if these righteous examples of God's love is here for us, don't stop now. It's just the beginning. The Lord has answered your prayer. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Lord, let Amen. your Holy Spirit fall upon us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. And Thank amen. You. And uh, I sense uh, healing also. Healing of uh, uh, there are some people here who sometimes uh, you have uh, dizziness, dizziness, and um, the Lord is touching you and healing you mm. of, of that uh, affliction of dizziness. It's not all the time, but but it comes, it comes off and on, uh, dizziness or vertigo, vertigo. Another word for that is vertigo. Anybody please raise your hand and we will pray for you. We have Joe Sisinski, who else? Uh, we have Emma and we have uh, Dr. Sandra. Who else? Sandra, Bob. Oh. Who else? Okay, we have Gina. Okay. We have also Cindy. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There is at least one more. There's one more. Do not hesitate. Raise your hand. We'll pray for you. Okay. And Jenny's praying proxy for her sister. For and, me for my, and me for my daughter, Katrina. Okay. Okay. So let us pray right now. Lord, we thank you and we praise you. We glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, for healing our sisters and brothers of this vertigo, of this dizziness. In Jesus' name, by the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I command the respective equilibrium to be functioning normally in Jesus' name. And the dizziness to disappear in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Any infections in the ear, in Jesus' name, be gone, be gone begun in the mighty name of Jesus. We apply by faith the blood of Jesus into their ears, into the ear canal, into the auditory nerves in infection to disappear. And we ask for a divine antibiotics to heal uh, the um, ear infection and the equilibrium to be normal in Jesus name. Lord, you are the giver of gifts. You are the healer, you are the master healer. You are the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Lord. And we see you their healings, Lord, in your precious blood and in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> and amen. And amen.
Praise Amen. God. Amen. We shall continue to worship and to praise God with gusto, with our hands raised up, with our voices focused, directed to the Lord. And I like to ask Tricia to sing Graves into Garden. Or, yeah, Tricia, Graves yes. into Garden. Thank you. Everybody, please mute except Patricia, except Tricia. I've searched the world, but it couldn't fill me. Man's empty praise and treasures that fade are never enough. And then you came along and put me back together. And every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. I'm not afraid to show you my weakness, my failures and flaws. Lord, you've seen them all, and you still call me friend. Cause the God of the mountain is the God of the valley. And there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing, nothing is better than you. I know it's true. You turn mourning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. You turn mourning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Lord, there's nothing. Nothing is better than you. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. 
I know it's true. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into army. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. You're the only one who can. And mute. And you are the holy one of God. You are the most high. You are the holy one of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you. We magnify Psalm chapter 28 verse 7 the, the word of God says the word the Lord is my strength and my shield my heart trusts in him and I am helped my heart leaps for joy and I will give thanks to him in song praise God thank you Jesus Amen. I also received, uh, received another word of knowledge that there is somebody here and a lady, a lady. Who had, uh, uh, recently you had some kind of an argument with your sister, an argument with your sister. And uh, the Lord is telling you, 
I want you to forgive. I want you to forgive my daughter. I want you to keep on forgiving, even though it hurts. I want you to ask for the help of the Holy Spirit to help you forgive and pray for your sister. Pray for your sister. I want you to forgive because if you put resentment in your heart, if you keep the resentment in your heart, the bitterness in your heart, then it will only cause division. It will only cause harm to you, not only physically, not only emotionally, but spiritually. My, my daughter, I want you to live and not to perish. And I want you to forgive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Who, uh, who is that lady? Who had uh, an argument with your sister? Raise your hand. Oh, San, Dr. Sandra? Oh, no, Evelyn? And it, it's my sister-in-law. Your sister-in-law, okay. Could be your sister-in-law, your sister. Yeah, who else? There are at least two more. There are at least two more here. Raise your hand, please. I sense the Lord is saying he knows, okay? And we have our sister uh, Jenny and Emma. Okay. Uh, there are three right here. So if anyone would like to raise your hand, you may do so. That's, that's a humility in your heart. And also, the Lord is blessing you. The Lord is giving you strength to forgive your mother-in-law or mother or sister or sister-in-law or sister. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, you know our hearts and you know where we stand before you. And Lord, I ask that you help us forgive as you have forgiven us. Lord, that's our hearts and let there be reconciliation, Lord, between, between our, our sisters and their respective uh, sister or sister-in-law. Oh, Lord, that there will be reconciliation. There will be goodwill again. That, do, that uh, their respective relationship will be strengthened, will be strengthened by the power of your name, by the power of your blood by the power of the Holy Spirit, that there will be no recriminations, that there will be no bitterness that will stay in their hearts, but only joy and peace and love and victory. Thank you, Lord, for healing them. Thank you, Lord, for giving them the strength. And thank you, Lord, for touching them in a mighty way. And Lord, seal their healings, touch their hearts, and seal this relationship, Lord. Strengthen this relationship even more, oh Lord, and let the draw them closer to each other, mm. Lord, for your greater glory and honor. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the Lord is very, the Lord is very, um, what we call accurate. When he says two or three or four or five or whatever, how many people, you know, and he's always right because he never commits a wrong. He never is wrong. He's always right. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So uh, let us sing. Yes. Oh. Yes, Joe. I would like to read a little passage and comment on it briefly. Uh, sure. In fact, there was a song we used to sing at the prayer meetings years ago, and you might remember it. Vicky might remember it. It goes, well, it goes, oh, could someone mute, please? Whoever's, uh, let me mute somebody. It goes, for you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, holy nation, once no people, now God's people.
proclaiming his marvelous light. I know it seems terrible compared to everybody else. Once no people, now God's people. Colossians says that we have been transferred from a kingdom of, kingdom of darkness into the God's kingdom of light. That's such a profound thought. If God is with us, if God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. No what we're going through, we have, I don't know if any of you ever had a, a teacher who gave hard, gave hard tests, but he would give points and they called it a curve. With God in our corner, God on our side, we have 85 points already out of 100 to strengthen us, to give us peace, to give us direction. And God, we praise you. We thank you. You are a faithful God. You're a powerful God. You're showing us, God, by these words that your heart is so big, your awareness of our situation is is total 100%, and you are involved in our lives, and you're meeting, you're making the difference between what we need and what we have, and we just thank you, Lord. We praise your awesome, faithful God of 100% love, and we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Joe. Hallelujah. And that was from, that was from 1 Peter, verse oh. 2, I mean, uh, chapter 2, verse 9. Verse 9 and 10, forgive me for not saying it. Uh, <laughs> Praise God. Thank you. That's very important, Vicki. Thank you. A crown of thorns placed on his head. He knew that he would soon be dead. He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? They nailed him to a wooden cross. Soon all the world would feel the loss of Christ the King before his hallelujah. 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 He hung his head and prepared to die, then lifted his face up to the sky said i'm coming home now father to you a reed which held his final sip was gently lifted to his lips he drank his last and gave his soul to glory hallelujah 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 Alleluia. The soldier who had used his sword to pierce the body of our Lord said, Truly, this is Jesus Christ, our Savior. He looked to it, fear upon his sword, then turned to face his Christ and Lord fell to his knees, crying Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. He took from his head a thorny crown and wrapped him in a linen gown and laid him down to rest inside the tomb the holes in his hands his feet and side now in our hearts we know he died to save us from ourselves oh hallelujah 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 Alleluia. Three days went by, again they came to move the stone, to bless the slain with oil and spice anointing. Alleluia. But as they went to move the stone, they saw that they were not alone. But Jesus Christ has reason, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Unmute yourself and let us praise the Lord. Don't be shy and mute. Glory to your holy name. you are our life, our the way to see the the light. And the Lord of I God is saying to you, to us, he said, My children, my children, why do you fall? Why do you always fall? I want you, my children, to stand up and have faith, to stand up and be strong. And you could only find that strength in me. Mm -hmm and nobody else. I want you, my children, to be strength in my love, to be strong in my love, and find your strength in me, because I am the giver of life. I will strengthen you, 
and I will protect you. But you have to trust in me. You have to trust in me. You have to come to me because I am the only one who can protect you with love. I am the love. I am the only one who can protect you with strength. I am the only one who protects you with light, with the light of my father. Do not seek somewhere else, my children. Do not seek your protector, your shield, and the source of your life somewhere else. I am the one who died for you on the cross in Calvary. Hang on to me. Hang on to me and follow me because I am. I will give you life eternal. And know my people, know my children, that the enemy is always there, ready to devour you. But fight him, fight against him with the power and of the Holy Spirit and with my precious blood, because I am stronger than he. My people and my children, you are indeed my people. You are indeed my beloved. And I want you, my my children, to be with me always. Do not let go of my love for you, but embrace me, and receive the love that I have for you. Says the Lord. Mm, thank you. Amen. I think the Lord is saying, "You look behind you, and you see the Egyptians fastly gaining mm. ground. You look in front of you, and there's the ocean." And you're terrified, you're intimidated. But watch what I'm going to do. Hold my hand. Do not stray. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to part that sea. I'm going to move that mountain. Trust me. Be faithful. Do what you can do. And watch and see. Because I am going to do what only I can do, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank yes, you. and I do truly believe in that to continue because it's, the word of the Lord coming from my compadre Bob is I know for some of us here it's very very difficult what you're going through right now define yourself by God look not at your sin but like what my compadre Bob said look at the Savior and look at what Joe said did Moses stop in the middle of the Red Sea and said, I can't do this. I can't go all the way through. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because God is saying, rely on me. Look upon me, not the sin. Get the devil out of your head and, 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 and say, oh, no, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at you, Lord, because you are the one that has everlasting life. You are the one that can save me from my sin. You're the one that can save me, body, body mind soul and spirit and if you if you just need to say but i'm a sinner or I, I have this healing to take place then jeremiah 17 is exactly for you because it says heal me O lord and i will be healed save me and i will be saved for you are the one i praise not the sin not the circumstance but you are the one i praise amen Thank amen you. I have a word. I have a word that confirms that. And before I I read it, I just want to remind everyone. And I know you know this. Ephesians six twelve. For we wrestle not against yeah. flesh and blood, yeah. but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So now I'm going to read what I'm going to read. But just remember, we're not warring against uh, people, uh, but it's a spiritual warfare. And Psalm eighteen, thirty two. Uh, it is God that girds me with strength and makes my way perfect. He yeah. makes my feet like hinds feet and sets me up upon, upon my high places. He teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast get, also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand holds me up and thy gentleness has made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn against again until they were consumed. 
I have wounded them that were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength into the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. And again, this is spiritual warfare. We're not talking about hating uh, people. We're talking about uh, it's a spiritual warfare and battle that the Lord is girding us with strength to overcome the evil one because he has already overcome the world. Amen. 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 And, amen. and also to to uh, what um, Kumadri was saying and and uh, Cindy and Joe and the uh, words that uh, I received from the Lord. And he also, the Lord also says, and I believe this is uh, some kind of a summary, if you will, that uh, in the book of Psalm chapter 16, verses eight to nine, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Amen. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank Brother you. Bob, as you started your, um, your words from the Lord, God had put on my the reading to me. He gave me Psalm 6. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, nor have you delight in them. You have given me the capacity to hear and obey your law, a more valuable service than burnt offerings and sin offerings you do not require. Then said I, behold, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me. For I delight to do your will, O God. Yes, your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed glad tidings of righteousness in the great assembly tidings of uprightness and right standing with God. Behold, I have not resta restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not concealed your righteousness within my heart. I have proclaimed your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not hid away from your steadfast love and your truth from the great assembly. So I have to confirm all of that. God has given it to all of us. Yes. We have to abide, and he has put his law in our hearts. And he also has been putting it in my heart that um, because I was feeling kind of down lately, and I went to a funeral. And as I went to the funeral, I saw this young, vibrant man at one time, and all of a sudden he got, he just got old, and it really touched me. God had touched my heart, and he said, just be thankful for every day that we have a day to breathe and to live and to enjoy his graces and to enjoy one another and not to withhold it. And don't let us wait for somebody else to make that change and that difference. And do not chase after what is in darkness and the corruption, but to follow him and to follow the laws that he puts into our hearts and to do his will. And to share that love that he has given us with others around us and not to wait for someone else to make that difference, to let it begin with us. We are his hands and his feet and his lips. That we're to share his word with other people, even if it's just a smile to a stranger on the street, we make that difference and it has to begin with us. So yeah. God has his way of reminding each and every one of us. And he reminded me, and I'm sharing that with everybody now. Amen. Bob, Amen. Sally, Sally, it's, it's, it's indeed uh, some kind of, uh, I would say, a contradiction. You said that you were, you were feeling down, and you went to a funeral. And uh, well, this, no, I've been, kind of, I think, I've been kind of affected with what yeah. things were going on around me so it's kind of you know upset me and I just okay Lord where are you you know but he re reminded me when I went to the funeral and he put heart you know that we're in it's the times that we're in and not to wait you know to be grateful that we have life and we have breath and to take advantage of that that we are alive and to be happy in it, trust in him, to keep our eyes focused on him and not to be dwelling on what's going on around us because God is our, he's the one that's fighting the battle for us and we have to trust in him. 
I guess I didn't put that in there, so I apologize. Yeah, yeah so, so no, no, no. What I'm saying that it is rather unique that uh, uh, you were feeling down and then you went to a funeral and, and the Lord used that funeral to speak to you. To yes. To say, ap appreciate what's been ha you know, happening, what you saw there and all of that. And that's only a grief from God. So as a result, you know, it kind of give you more, more hope and more, yes. more yes. feelings of, uh, of um, healing and, and restoration. Thank uh, you. Yes, yes. He brought me out of that, that hole of gloom and doom and reminded yes. me and brought me back to the light. It's his way of reminding me and he has different ways of reminding all of us and like today it's in the readings you know i mean well god speaks to us always you know in the readings and stuff Amen. but he, he has different ways of reminding all of us and that's how god like you said had reminded me i went to the funeral god clears the pathway and he took me to that allowed me to make it to the funeral and reminded me that's his way of speaking to me at that time you know and he speaks so, so, to us in so, different ways do you know, uh, I, I don't know, maybe this is redundant, but do you know the uh, whose funeral it was? Um, Cravillos. It was the one of the Cravillos. Oh, really? You yeah. know, okay. Heather Cravillo. Heather Cravillo was her grandfather. I see. Okay. Okay. So anyway, thank you for sharing. Bob, Bob. Uh, Bob. Yes, yes. Bob, I want to share something in a second, but, uh, but I believe uh, Maria... Boros has something to, uh, or loves. Uh, Maria, do you have something to share? Or me? To... Yes, I thought maybe I missed... to share actually. Yes, thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you, Brother Bob. You talk about so nicely your uh, faith and love. And I was so touched. Uh, a theme song is so powerful. We are all of us one. You are my uh, brothers and sisters in Christ and love one another. This is only one message. Give a New Testament Jesus. Love one another as I have love you. This uh, theme song is so powerful, simple, but um, talk about faith, hope, and love. Lord, increase my faith to believe. Increase my hope to trust. Increase my love. We want to love the Lord all our hearts, all our mind, all our souls. Love our neighbor as ourselves. We want to uh, want to live our life. We want to share daily with others, like Sally uh, nicely shared how important to share our love. And Brother Bob mentioned that about the Holy Spirit, power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, um, Holy Spirit come to us so powerful way when coming to us, uh, change us, transform us. I ask the Lord just uh, change me. How you want to see me? Create me a new heart in me especially fill us with your love and help me to bring this love to others in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Thank you Bob. for that uh, beautiful reflection. Bob, Thank can you. I? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, Joe. Thank you, Maria. I want to highlight something that Sally said because I remember years ago at the particular prayer group I went, every prayer meeting had a message, go out, go out, go out. And... Um, you know, it is so important that we be sensitive to those who are, um, those who may be hurting, those who, it's so, oh, the phone's ringing, let me throw it down over there. Uh, it's so important that we be sensitive to those who may be discouraged, may be hurting, may be lost, may have addictions. It is so important that we are just there making an eye contact, um, you know, just, Kindness deep speaks unto deep, the psalm says, but sometimes there's a visible opportunity. Bob, you mentioned sometimes you would go to the grocery store, you've said, and you just kind of float around, someone's squeezing tomatoes, and you squeeze tomatoes, you, you know, have a low-key, um, need nice tomatoes, huh? And you just enter into a relationship, and sometimes the Lord has led you there because they need a special kindness, a special word, special encouragement at that time. So, you know, we're not just a little, we're not meant to be in a, what's the word, in a bunker, you know, in a tornado shelter. We're meant here to be sensitive to the needs of others, to be God's love caring 
about them. So that's all I have to say, Bob, is let us be, you know, we claim to be guided by the spirit. Some of us more than others. I need to grow in that, I know. But right. let us at least at least have our eyes open for someone who is, you know, maybe discouraged or hurting or could use an encouragement. And if the Lord allows us to bring his name, his power in that situation, that life can be changed because we were just paying attention to them and paying attention to the Lord. Let us be that. Okay, and Joe. Thank you. But do not uh, uh, make your voice loud when you say, I squeeze tomato, tomatoes. I because they might ban me from the grocery store. Uh, you know, I don't squeeze tomatoes, you know? Uh, pineapple or something. I don't, I don't want to squeeze, because, because if the grocery stores would know about it, they would probably say, we, you know, Bob Canto not allowed in the grocery store because he squeezes tomatoes. You know, oh, why do you no. want that to happen? Okay, okay. because I don't. <laughs> Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on him. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on him. God. Thank you, Abby. Thank you for that song. Now, how to trust in the Lord? Okay. By the way, it's uh, also a chapter in my uh, latest book, Fundamentals of Power Field Living. I don't know if you have a copy of the book, and it will be available to, through uh, Amazon in not too long from now. Okay, how to trust in the Lord? Proverbs verses, uh, chapter three, verses five to six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, on your own intelligence, rely not. In all your ways, be mindful of him, <clears throat> and he will make straight your paths. Next, uh, the, the truth is, Trust is a lonely word in our culture. Politicians make promises that we most of the time doubt seriously. Even when brides and brides and grooms say, I do, they actually don't. Our friends say to us, oh yeah, I'll be there and are late or never show. And then they don't call. Children are told either by their parents or by their friends, I'll play with you only to be disappointed. Maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend has promised you that you are the only one for him or her and then leave you for another later on. And how many of you have experienced that? Raise your hands. Now you don't really have to. You know. And this has eroded our trust in anyone else. 
we have a problem of trust in our society. It is difficult to trust people, but with God, it should be different. How many of us here really trust in the Lord? How many of us here blame God because we failed or he did not protect or support you or allowed bad things to happen to you or to the people you love or to your friends? This is the same thing that happened to the Israelites when they were in the desert in Mount Sinai. You know what? The, um, hold on right there uh, for a moment, Comadre. You know, when the Israelites were, were uh, journeying to the promised land, you know, the, the Lord provided for them manna to eat. They, they provided for them like quail for them to have supper. And so they have, they have, um, they have the, you know, the Lord has they um, provided for them many things. But what happened to them? They, they were, they murmured, they complained, and they grumbled towards God, even though they have seen many miracles in their midst. You know, they are light by day. And um, no, no, they, they have, they have the, the light by night, and they have people. They cloud, have, cloud by day, Bob. Cloud by day, excuse me, cloud by day, and uh, light by uh, night that to follow them. They were following them all the time. But those uh, Israelites, what happened? They murmured, and they complained, and they grumbled. So they did not trust the Lord. Right? They have they doubted the Lord. And one time, you know, when Moses are, uh, was talking to God um, in the burning bush, and what happened to them? The Israelites had made um, um, molten calf and worship. They were they were doing all kinds of heinous, very heinous things. They worship false gods. They have, they have orgies. They have all kinds of evil things that they did. Okay. So, um, okay, Comadre. In Psalm, in the book of Psalm, chapter 37, verses 1 to 10, we read, Do not be provoked by evil doers. Do not envy those who do wrong. Like grass, they weather quickly. Like green plants, they wilt away. Trust in the Lord and do good and do good that you may dwell in the land and live secure. Find your delight in the Lord who will give you your heart's desire. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust that God will act and make your integrity shine like the dawn, your vindication like noonday, even though it's so bleak, maybe you look at things and say, oh, things around me uh, are so bleak, they are so hopeless, they are so dark, uh, hang in there, trust in the Lord. And you said, Lord, you, we know that we can, I can always trust in you and I give you all my situations, all my conditions, all my, all, all the problems that I have, all these trials that I have, I give them to you, Lord, and then remind the Lord. Lord, didn't you say, come to me, those who are heavy laden, those who are heavy laden, those who find this life burdensome, and I will give you rest. You know, take the yoke from me, Lord, because your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Remind him, remind him, and use his words. Use the words of the Lord. You know, that's what I do. And I said, Lord, you told me that this is, that you will always be with me, that, uh, that you will never forsake me, that you will never abandon me. But Lord, but how come it seems like you are abandoning me? It seems like you are forsaking me. And Lord, I know you don't do that, Lord. 
I trust in you. I trust in you. So remind the Lord using his words. And sisters and brothers, I'm telling you, it's effective. It's effective because those are, you are using God's words. And that's using what, he's, what he says. And of course, the Lord uh, knows that. Amen? Okay. So in the next uh, frame, it says, be still before the Lord. Wait for God. Do not be provoked by the prosperous, nor by malicious schemers. Give up your anger. Abandon your wrath. Do not be provoked. It brings only harm. Those who do evil will be cut off, but those who wait for the Lord will possess the land. Wait a little and the wicked will be no more. Look for them and they will not be there. So let the wicked do their ways. Pray for the wicked. Pray for those who have, who have provoked you or who have accuse you wrongly, those who, who malign you falsely, give them to the Lord. Do not, do not um, take revenge. So give up your anger. Abandon your, your wrath, okay? And give it to the Lord. And we have to be careful, by the way. We have to be careful also. Do not touch God's anointed people. Like, like, um, you know, what happened to, to, to King David, Saul was running after him to destroy him. And, and King David had a chance to kill, to kill Saul. And he could have just killed him using a sword. But what did David say? King David says, I will rather not touch God's anointed. Because King David knew that had he touched uh, the, the, the God's anointed, he will suffer. He will, he will be, um, he will suffer the consequences. So if there are people who are anointed by the Lord, be careful, do not, do not touch those people. Do not, do not be an enemy of those people. You know, you have to be careful with that because if you do it, if you, if you persecute, those anointed people by God, if you accuse them wrongly, if you destroy them, be careful because God will, will not forget it. God will not forget it, sisters and brothers. Okay? Okay, next frame. There are six things we have to do. And in order to be victorious in this, in this life, in order to do God's will. There are six things we have to do. Trust, trust. In other words, we have to surrender everything to the Lord. Uh, Lord, thy will be done and, and trust him. He says, Lord, I don't see any way. It seems to be no way, but I trust you anyway. It's so dark, Lord. But I know that you don't abandon me. I trust you, Lord. And then you also have to do good. Do good even though it's hard, even though people will, will misunderstand you or people will accuse you or people who do not like you if you do good. But keep on doing good anyway. Keep on doing good anyway. And delight. And the Lord says, delight in the, in the Lord and you will receive the desires of your heart. Wow, praise God. So, so you said, Lord, I delight in you. I delight in you, Lord. I delight in your presence. I delight in your Lordship. I delight in your love. I delight in your power. I delight in your Lordship. And Lord, give me the desires of my heart. Lord, I want to serve you. I want to give glory to your name. I want to have a lasting effect on this world. A lasting effect, not because I am, they look at me as better than every, anybody else or to, they would look at me as, as the wisest or the strongest, no. 
No, uh, uh, with delight, the Lord, I, lasting effect means that, that this world, because it will never be the same again, because you are alive. In other words, uh, delight, we have to do good, we have to delight in the Lord, because he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and he makes the, the, path, the impossible possible. We have to delight in him, and we have to make an, an instant, or, or not only instant, but lasting effect on this world. In other words, we should not leave this world the same as it has, it has always been, but we have to impact it with good things and goodness from the Lord. And we have to commit. We have to commit to the Lord. We have to commit to our, to our, to our duties as Christians. We have to follow his teachings and we have to rest and wait. So we have, I'd like to explain it further more, further. Okay, Madre uh, Vicky, I think I explain it in some other ways here. Confide in God. So in other words, rest on him. Live everything in the hands of God. When we confide in God, it means that we have to, to um, leave everything in the hands of God. Feel that he rules and that what he permits is wisely permitted. And what he, what and whatever may occur, it will be overruled for his own glory and the good of the universe. So whatever occurred, it will be for his honor and glory. Amen. So this is, we have to confide in God and let there be The best way to keep them, the mind from complaining and grumbling is to be always engaged in doing good, to have the mind always occupied in something valuable and useful. Each one should have so much of his own to do that he will no need to murmur and complain or to allow the mind to, to pray. Now it's, I think the the word pray here is P-R-E-Y, uh, to allow the mind to pray on itself. So I'm sorry, there's a wrong spelling right there. So in other words, um, in order that our mind will not, or will not complain or grumble or, or complain or mumble or whatever, uh, murmur, uh, against the Lord, it is always, we have to always engage in doing good. It's, you'll say you should always, we should always find a way. What are the things that uh, will do good for not only for me, for my family, but for my community? Uh, what are the things that I should do? You know, we should occupy the thoughts and if you decide that this is the best thing we should do, then by all means do it. Because, you know, words without actions are nothing. They are bare. They are bare. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Let us see. We have to delight in the Lord and He will give us the desires of our heart. So, in other words, you have to fellowship with the Lord and follow his will for us so he will get the desires so that we will get the desires um, of our heart. When our will is in tangent with the will of God, then we are the recipients of abundant blessings. Now remember this sisters and brothers, let me repeat, when our will is in tangent with the will of God, then we are the recipients of abundant blessings. So when the Lord says, make a right turn, then you do, you, you turn right, right? So we are following his will. And when the Lord says, forgive your, your worst enemy, 
then what shall we do? We have to follow. So we have to follow his will. When, when, the, when the Lord says, forgive your mother-in-law, then we have to do it. Do not say, oh, do, do not make any, any excuse saying, oh, my mother-in-law is no good. My, uh, my mother-in-law, I hate her because she always is meddling with my husband and our lives. You know, one time I had a, a seminar, a life in the spirit seminar. I said, who among you uh, don't like your mother-in-law? I said, raise your hands. And um, only one or two people raised their hands. And then after the seminar, this lady came up to me and says, Bob, you know what? I hate my mother-in-law. I don't like her, but I don't want to raise my hand because she was here in the seminar. She was here. I didn't want her to know about it, you know? So I said, forgive her. So, so we have our, you know, his will is, God's will is, is uh, he said to us, be holy for I, the Lord, am holy. So we have to be holy. In other words, not full of holes, but be holy. In other words, we should be, we should be walking towards the Lord. We should follow what the Lord says. We should be more like Jesus. We should become more like Jesus in every way. That is his will for us. Amen? Okay. Letter D. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will do it. Commit your way to the Lord. Um, now, when we say commit the, your way to the Lord, in, in Hebrew, this is roll your way upon the Lord. The idea is that of rolling a heavy burden from ourselves on another or laying it upon him so that he may bear it, the burden which we have not which we have not gotten strength to bear, we may lay on God. So in other words, um, trust in him and commit your way to the Lord. In other words, we have uh, all our ways should be directed to the Lord. We have, in other words, now we have to go back to the word again. Trust, trust all your ways to the Lord. So that what happened? So that um, he may bear it so that the burden which we have not gotten any strength to bear, we have to lay on God. In other words, he will carry our burden. He will carry our, our problems. Amen? Okay. So, always stay humble and kind. The term way Always stay humble and kind, pray more, worry less. Okay, the, the term way means properly the act of treading or going, then a way or path, then a, cur a course of life or the manner in which one lives. And the reference here is to the whole course of life and all that can affect, affect life and our plans or conduct all the issues or results of those plans. Okay, Commander, the next um, frame. It is equivalent here to, to lot or destiny. Everything in regard to the manner in which we live and all, it, all its results are to be committed to the Lord. In Hebrew, he will do it. That is, he will bring it to a proper issue. He will secure a happy result. He will take care of your interest and will not permit you to suffer or to be ultimately wrong. The thing particularly referred to here as appears from the next verse is reputation or character. Next frame, Commander. Rest in the Lord, okay? We have to rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Be silent to the Lord. 
The Hebrew word means to be mute, silent, and to be still. Hence, to be silent to anyone, that is, to listen to him, is silent in silence. And the idea in the phrase here, be silent to Jehovah, is that of waiting in silent presence or confidence for his interposition. Or in other words, of leaving the whole matter with him without being anxious as to the result. For his bringing the matter to a proper issue. In other words, when you trust the Lord, you just rest the Lord and, say, and just say, Lord, you are all knowing anyway. You are powerful. You, you know what's best. Lord, I will follow you, whatever directions you want to show me and speak into my heart. And, and, and Lord, I ask that you um, continue to speak loudly into my heart and to show me the path that I should go, okay? So in other words, you don't have to keep on, on uh, badgering the Lord, just be silent and just say, Lord, speak into my heart because this is where I get your words. This is where I get your direction. And show me the cir circumstances that I should go, Lord. So in other words, you know, we should leave the whole matter with him. And we should not be fearful. We should not be anxious. We should not be um, what we call um, uh, we should have, we should not be full of anxieties, but full of confidence in the, in the hands and in the directions that the Lord will show us. Praise God. So, and the next frame, Comadre, he may seem to delay long. It may appear strange that he does not interpose. You may wonder what he should suffer. You wonder that he should suffer in innocent man to be thus accused and culminated, but you are not to be anxious and troubled. We have, uh, yes, we should not be anxious about anything. You know, it, we have to be patient. God does not always interfere on behalf of the innocent at once. And there may be valuable ends to accomplish in reference to yourself, in the discipline of your own spirit, in bringing out in your case, the graces of gentleness, patience, and forgiveness, and in leading you to examine yourself and to understand your own character, which may make it proper that he should not interpose immediately. So uh, sisters and brothers in Isaiah, chapter 43, verses one to three, the Lord God says, but now thus says the Lord who created you, o Jacob, and form you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the water, I will be with you. In the rivers, you shall not drown. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. The flames shall not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Sisters and brothers, we should remember this words from Isaiah 43 that, um, that, you know, we should trust him, okay? And he said, fear not, fear not. Do you know how many uh, uh, verses, uh, uh, how many times you'll find these words, fear not in the entire Bible? You find it, if you write down this, the, uh, this phrase, fear not, you'll find out that there are 366 times from the Old Testament to the New Testament, you will find this, these words, fear not, 366 times. In other words, once a day. The Lord is telling us once a day, He's telling us daily not to fear. Amen? Not to fear. So, because you know what? He is with us. He says, I am with you always. So, nothing to fear. Amen? I think this is the end of the teaching, Comadre. These are one of the great promises of the Lord to us. Do we trust him enough and his words? Do we? 
if you have not, I think it's time to start that we have to trust him enough. And we have to trust in him, in his person, in his lordship, and we have to trust in his words. Amen? Amen. Okay, thank you, Comadre. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you Comadre. Great. Cherry was the one that handled this, this, the beautifully. The, uh... Uh, Cherry, yeah. Cherry, you know, Cherry, at first I just asked Comadre to do it for me because I know you have a plate full of things in your, in your, or you have a lot of things in your plate. So I asked Comadre and well, Comadre, you asked Cherry and Cherry, thank you. No, no, that. no, 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 no. She, uh, Mama Vicky made the slides. I'm just the one sharing them now. Oh, you are the one. Okay. Thank so you, Comadre. Thank you, uh, Cherry. And uh, we said we should be trusting in the Lord every second of our lives amen amen okay thank you lord and now i would like to ask um uh cherry to sing trust in the lord wow what a i'd like to to hear that song cherry uh trust in the lord i have not i don't think i have heard that song before Okay. All right. I'm pretty sure you have. Um, but if everybody could mute, but sing along because it's an upbeat, happy reminder to us all. Thank okay. you. Did you say unmute or mute? Mute. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He shall direct And He shall direct your path Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He shall direct And He shall direct your path He will not your foot to be moved he that keeps you will not slumber the lord is near unto all that that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct and he shall direct your path he will not allow your foot to be moved he that keeps you will not slumber the lord is near unto all them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your Acknowledge him and he shall direct and he shall direct your path trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct and he shall direct your path trust in the lord with all your heart and he shall not on 
your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct and he shall direct your path amen amen oh how beautiful thank you Yeah, Joe, my ear popped. Um, I don't have vertigo. Uh, vertigo. My my husband had vertigo before, but now he has tendonitis. But my ear, traditionally, for years and years and years, stuffs up. It's the same ear. I've gone to a, a specialist, and um, she's told me, oh. Maybe it's a buildup of wax, so they, they cleaned my ear, but they cleaned the other ear because they said there was, they couldn't see any wax in this left ear. So I don't know. <laughs> but, but So you went to the best specialist today, right? Or he came to you. He did a house call. Yes. Um, he did a house call, and uh, your ear pops. Yes. Can you tell? Can you hear any different, or you just feel it's freer? Or tell uh, us about it. it yeah, it, it was freeing up. A little bit ago until I now I'm focused on it and all of a sudden it's like stuffed again. So yeah, a little spiritual warfare in there, I think. Yeah. But I but I do have a testimony since no one else is talking right now. I'll just go ahead and, and say I had some really good news. Uh this past Tuesday, I think Tuesday or Wednesday, I can't even remember now. But um, can you even see me? Because they turned yes. off the light over here. Uh, we see you fine. Let me see if I could. And you look beautiful, Sandy. I <laughs> you look stronger and your countenance yes. is awesome. Yeah, even with my emo hair. By the way, Sandy, by the way I, I, was, I, I could not get in. I could not get in, in my, uh, through Zoom. I tried to get back in. Uh -huh. For some reason, I don't know what happened. I could not get in, so I'm joining with Trisha. With with her uh, iPad here. Oh, okay. That's great. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. okay. So somebody. I was going to share um, that I was uh, had a video visit with my oncologist from Stanford, and um, they were just you know because I resumed chemotherapy, and so you know we were going over some stuff, and she said. Um, because I missed my PET scan. I'm supposed to have it every three months. And um, and I was kind of worried about that. Not worried, but you know, I like, what are we gonna do now? Because now I can't go to the hospital because I'm isolated, right? So um, she says, well, you know, uh, when they, uh, right before they did the surgery on your leg, they did a CT scan that gave us a lot of details on the tumor that's in the kidney. And I said, oh, okay, like what details? And she said, um, I'm in agreement with the other oncologists, because I have two now uh, from UC Davis, and we are in agreement that um, the tumor is kind of unusual uh, because it hasn't grown. It hasn't shrunk, but it hasn't grown. So it's very stabilized in the place that it is. So as soon as you recover from your, you know, the surgery on your leg and, you know, it was pretty invasive, so it'll take a while. But she said, as soon as, you know, you're up to it, we will begin talking about just removing the tumor and not the whole kidney. And I was like, whoa. And anyone who knows my husband, you know, there's a few of you out there that knows my husband. Okay. Jose? Jose, he's very macho. He's from Mexico, very macho. My husband started crying, like just crying. And he was like so happy. This is news that I'm like, thank you so much, Lord. This is what we've been wanting to hear since last October, you know. Uh, but of course, you know, he says, asking me, shall receive? And I really believe it. And I've been asking him to just like, take away the tumor. I, you know, let it be that, you know, if it is your will to have another surgery, so be it, you know, because I know he'll get me through it. He's already shown me that too many times for me not to believe it. 
but of course, you know, Sandy that I am, <laughs> I am asking for the tumor to just disappear, you know, so I don't have to have another surgery, but, but it was very good news. And I was just like, okay, this whole time, you know, because we go through different, different parts of our journey, you know, when we're in this type of situation and we go, you know, to all of them, you know, you could say, okay, let's go back generation and see what happened there. Let's go back to your resentment or where, you know, let's go there. Let's go back to fear. You know, you have all these different things, but lately in this part of my journey, he's been saying, stop going back. Just stop. Amen. So get right now. And I'm with you. Do you believe that? Yes or no? There's nothing in between. It's yes or no, Sandy. And I say, yes, Lord, I believe you're with me. Do you believe that you're being healed? I say, yes. I even believe that I've already healed. I'm just trying to convince my mind because my heart knows but my mind has to tell my the rest of my body that I'm healed, you know, to walk. So then the next morning, I get up and I walk the walker to the bathroom by myself. Oh, you're not supposed to be walking by yourself, but I feel strong. I, I did it. They're like, oh yeah, you did it. You know, sitting down in a pot, sorry, <laughs> you know, by myself and um, being okay, not even having any fear whatsoever. It's like, he said yes or no. And I say, yes, so I'm good. I can do this walking to the sink, washing my face. I'm like, wow, everybody's like, whoa, you know, it's like, you're, you're getting a lot better. I said, I'm healed. I'm just, you know, trying to work through the thing, you know, of actually believing that I'm healed totally because the Lord has already healed my leg. And, um, and so now, you know, he gave me that news only comes from God. Good, good only comes from God. That was from him. I accept it. I claim it. And then, of course, I keep asking. Ask and you shall receive. And so but that's your promise, Lord. I'm asking for the tumor to just go away, to disappear by the time I'm recovered totally, the tumor to be gone, to be totally gone. And, um, and that's where I am right now. The Lord has brought me here. I'm here. I'm happy with that. And I'm going home a week from today, Saturday, God willing. He's already put that in motion. I'm ready to go home. So, Amen. Andy, you look so much stronger. You're sharper. You're clearer. Your voice is strong. Your countenance is, is very attractive. You know, you are, you are um, way different than I remember you five or six weeks ago glory to god this is glory all um, glory to god and cindy always oh. says it so i'll say it before she does cindy says i agree with you in jesus name that the tumor is gone hey can we bob just uh lift our hands and not only for her right now but for all who are battling cancer including my friend marie christina but for everybody battling cancer right now bob will you do that prayer or you want me to do in it in jesus name in jesus name we curse every seed every root of cancer in the body of uh, Sandy, Dr. Sandy, and the, her T cells and B cells and NK cells to, to destroy the abnormal growth in her kidneys in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, I ask that you continue to Heal Sandy, continue to strengthen her. Lord, in your words, in your words, in the book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 8, Lord, uh, your words, in your words, you said, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, in your words, also in the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, Lord, you said, Lord, that, that, um, your love for us is is uh, fresh every morning. Your love for us is fresh every every morning. It will never grow stale. 
Lord, thank you, Lord. And in the book of the in the book of Psalm 37, you said, Lord, that the steps of the righteous man are ordered by you, oh, Lord. And continue, Lord, to continue, Lord, to to grant us the desires of your heart, because in your words in the book of Psalm, you said, Lord, delight in me, and I will give you the desires of your heart. And our desires in our heart that Dr. Sandra will be cancer free in your name. And all those people here who are attending who have cancer, we have uh, Patty Leong that we continue to curse every seed, every root of her cancerous cells, commanded to wither and die, to be gone completely in mm. Jesus' name. And that the, the B cells and T cells will destroy the multiple myeloma in her. Uh, in her tongue or in her in her jaw in jesus name in jesus. all the parts of the body in jesus name by the blood of jesus and we speak of miracles we speak of life we speak of victory and we seal the healing of all cancerous uh, uh growth and all the abnormal growths all cancerous growths that they will be healed completely in the name of the father son and the holy spirit Amen. amen and amen. amen and that prayer was for all who have cancer so don't feel left out that we, we prayed for everybody who has cancer right now in jesus name in jesus name and anybody else was a testimony anybody else maria christina oh okay i thought yes a testimony but I, I wanted to check on, on her compadre because of um, Maria, everyone in your family is healed now in terms of having COVID? Um, Sister Vicky, we're still all positive right now. Okay. But uh, we're finished our quarantine already. But uh, I have faith in him that uh, soon we're all going to be tested negative because they said it's still going to be in our system after. But we're, we're good. Praise God and thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for Maria, because you sound a lot better, Maria, than last week. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we thank you, Jesus. For Maria Cristina, her husband, and her child. Lord, you thank are you, her, her God in, who healeth her and, and her family, Lord. So we're just asking the blood of Jesus through his cross and resurrection to, to heal this precious family in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord, and, Thank you. And, let their, and, and protect and rejuvenate their, their lungs, oh Lord. Protect and rejuvenate <laughs> lungs. That's with their lungs, their respective lungs, with your precious blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank I'm you, Brother Thank you, everybody. Pardon? I've got my hand raised. Okay. Oh. I, I want to share something. I had a guy who came into my store this week and he had a serious bout with COVID about maybe a year and a half ago. And he said three times he felt his, his spirit leave his body. And after about three weeks, he, he called out to the Lord and he says, God, I can't handle this anymore. His, his blood pressure was like a hundred and something strange, like 180 or something. He said, God, I can't handle this anymore. I says, is that the first time you called out to the Lord? Because this guy is a prayerful guy. He says, yeah, that's the first time I thought of it. And I thought, oh, my gosh, well, let us be mindful. You know, here we're gathered now. We're calling on the name of the Lord. You know, so many scriptures. Whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, we trust the Lord. Sometimes he will call us home. But until then, we pray for restoration, for health, for a full life. Um, God wants a full life. We believe he wants us healthy and we want to be a blessing for others. But anyway, let us not wait till we're three weeks and have a heart. If you can live with that, a heart beat of uh, blood pressure of 180, you know, Lord, we call on you now. We trust you now. We believe you now. And also Lord, we pray for Trisha's device now. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Trisha's got to go. We love you, Trisha. We'll see you next week, she said. Okay. But anyway, let us not wait. You know, people wait until all else fails before I call on the Lord. 
my priest friend said that he worked with very poor people and they had a lot of miracles because the people didn't wait until there was no other options. Their first option was the Lord. And let our first option always be calling on the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Okay, in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. And Lord, uh, we believe that you are here with us. And Lord, we believe that you are the master healer and continue to heal us in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Cover us with your most precious blood and continue to restore us, Lord, back to great health. And Lord, and that's all our organs, all our cells, all our tissues, all our systems in our body, Lord, from the top of our head to the tips of our feet, saturate us with your presence, your love, and your grace. Come Holy Spirit, we need you. Come Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Come Holy Spirit, you are our shield. You are so you are our our strength. Come, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Lord, we cannot thank you enough for all these healings and miracles, all the disappearances of lumps and abnormal growths, on all this disappear, all healings of pain and and fear and anxieties and and um, Lord and for all the great things and the good things that you are doing with us for us and through us Amen. Uh, in the Zoom international <laughs> Zoom prayer meeting. Thank you Lord. Thank, Thank you, you Jesus. And Spirit of our, our God, Father, Son, God, and the Holy Spirit. Send upon us Please purify us, mold us, and fill us with yourself, and use us. Banish all the forces of evil from us, spirit of contamination, spirit of affliction and infirmity, spirits of heaviness and bandages, spirit of retaliation, spirit of, of sickness, heaviness, and darkness. Be gone from us and go to the foot of the cross in Jesus name and Lord use us Lord and um, and destroy them destroy all those all those spirits all the spirits and forces of evil from us vanquish them so that we can be healthy and do good deeds <laughs> banish from us all curses excess spells witchcraft black magic demonic assignments Manifest and the evil eye, diabolic infestations, oppressions, positions, all that is evil and sinful, jealousy, treachery, envy, all physical, psychological, moral, spiritual, and diabolical elements, as well as all enticing spirits, deaf, dumb, blind, mute, and sleeping spirits, new age spirits occult spirits, religious spirits, antichrist spirits, occult spirits, religious spirits, and any other spirits of death and darkness, we can you to go to the foot of the cross to be disposed of by Jesus. We command and bid all the powers who molest us by the power of God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, to leave us forever and to be consigned into the everlasting lake of fire that they may never again touch us or any other creature in the entire world. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. 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 And sisters and brothers, the Lord is not done yet healing. No, I, I am giving the word of knowledge that uh, there is a husband and wife, and uh, the wife is here, and you had some kind of, of uh, kind of bitter argument with your husband uh, um, uh, recently, 
and um, and you are not back to the normal um, self. You're you're still angry. You're still nursing some mm. some bitterness. Who is that lady? Raise your hand, please, and we'll pray for you, for your strength and for your peace. Raise raise yeah. your hand. Me, Elsa. Elsa. Yes. Okay, uh, this bitterness, huh? Uh, still, huh? Yeah, still. I mean, you're still with that anger. Mm. Yes. Okay. Who else? Who else? Who else has that? Anybody else? There's and this so is confidential, by the way. Yes. You can. Vilma, I else? think, raised her hand. I think there's still, there's still, there I, is one. Vilma. Lady. I think. Huh? Vilma, I think Vilma was waving her hand. Oh, Belma also. Okay. So no, uh, no, no, I'm not. I'm okay, not. sorry, I saw your hand. Sorry. Okay. There's there's at least one more. There's at least one more. Raise your hand. Wincy is raising his hand. Wincy. Wincy? Hi Wincy. Wincy. Okay. Uh to yeah. me. Ed. I had a heated argument with my wife um, last night. And this morning, I had a heated argument with my wife uh, last night, but it's all oh. no, no more. No more hard feelings this time. Yeah, but she she is uh, more bitter than you. He was really very angry. Okay, but we yeah, pray yeah. for you. Okay. Smile. Yeah. That's a good sign. Right? <laughs> and you're smiling. Yeah. We'll you're in the same room. We'll I love it. Right we will pray. Okay. Okay. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Lord, we live up to you. Our sister. Oh, what is her name again? The other day. Virgie. 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 And and brother Wincy and sister Virgie also and another lady Elsa 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 Lord that that you will uh, continue Lord to touch Eberardo that his womanizing ways Lord will be cut off that uh, give him the grace to be more faithful to Elsa in Jesus name and Lord that uh, Continue to give him Everardo the grace to let go and to let go of his uh, ways and to let you into his life, oh, Lord. You shopping or what? By the power of your name, by the power of your blood, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and give the grace to Elsa to forgive him in Jesus' name. Continue to forgive, Lord, for Elsa to to be protected also, to be be uh, protected from all kinds of darkness and abuse oh lord that you don't want her to be a doormat but you want her to be respected by her husband oh lord and let your precious blood be upon elsa and her and their children in jesus name and i live up to you wincy and virgie let there be reconciliation let there be forgiveness let there be Continue to let that self-respect and love be with them and touch them in a mighty way, in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory to your holy name. And let there be, Lord, let there be give and take. Let there be respect. And let give them the grace to continue to cherish each other, to respect each other, to value each other, to love each other. As you love us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Wednesday and for Virgie. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we offer our ourselves to you because you are the king of kings and the lord of all all that i am all that i have i lead him down 
before you, O oh Lord. All my regrets, all my acclaim, the joy and the pain, I'm making them yours. Join the like Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Things in the past, things here and seen, wishes and dreams that are yet to come true. All of my hopes, all of my plans, my heart and my hands are lifted to you. Join the Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory. Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. What can we give that do not give in? And what do we have that is not already yours? All we possess are this life. We are living and that's what he gave. To you, Lord, Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sack. Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I Offer my days to you, lifting my face to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer you my life. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Terry. Oh, Bye, everyone. Bye. God bless. Bye-bye.